What's up guys, CJ here, and welcome back to this week's all-new Dark Tower video. A super exciting one as we have our very first teasers for the upcoming movie adaptation of Stephen King's legendary book series. That's right, teasers, plural. We've got two of them highlighting our hero and villain respectively, Roland Deschain, played by Idris Elba, and The Man in Black, played by Matthew McConaughey. And they're super brief, just 15 seconds each, true to teaser form, giving us a good look at some really cool shots, but mainly just meant to drum up hype for the release of the first full-length trailer, which will hit the web at some point tomorrow. So we decided to go through and take a look at each of these teasers and not really do a breakdown. We'll save that for the real trailer tomorrow, but I guess more of just an analysis and review. We're going to see what we can see, and maybe we'll learn something about the movie just from these 15-second snippets. But let's start with the one that was released first, highlighting Matthew McConaughey's Man in Black. This first little 15-second teaser shows the Man in Black walking through the snow, surrounded by dead bodies. And judging by the snow and the surroundings, it looks like he's on a mountain somewhere, which could be a pretty big hint as to his location and maybe the events of the movie, but more on that in a second. The Man in Black then walks into a structure and we see his face for the very first time, while his monologue in the background, presumably him talking to Roland, says the war is over and the tower will fall. Speaking to the location, in the first book of the series, The Gunslinger, Roland and later with him Jake Chambers are pursuing the Man in Black, and one of the key locations in the book they chase him to is the Cyclopean Mountains. This is where some of the major events of that first book take place. They travel up to this mountain, kind of in the foothills area, and then within the mountain itself, from their encounter with the Slow Mutants and way more spoilery stuff that goes on. As for the monologue, that might take place in the scene this image comes from, which looks like it could be earlier in the movie, or or even potentially maybe at the end of the movie, as at the end of that first book, the two have a conversation that, again, I won't spoil here. But from these teasers, and especially from some of the images that have been released, I, I feel pretty safe in saying that it seems like they're at least going to be partially adapting the Gunslinger, despite what Nikolai Arcel said about this taking place technically after, as a kind of sequel to the book series. Just if these are the Cyclopean Mountains, we've got an image already of what looks like Idris Elba in the Mohain Desert. Uh, just a lot of these things seem to be pointing in that direction. But the second teaser is the much more action-packed of the two. We first see an open doorway in the middle of a field of burnt trees, just a scene of total devastation with the door bearing the number 1919. The scene then shifts to one of Roland's guns lying in the dirt before he picks it up, stands up, and reloads his pistols all in one move in pretty spectacular fashion, while the monologue recites an abridged version of maybe one of the most famous quotes from the series. I do not kill with my gun, I kill with my heart. Now the actual quote is, I do not kill with my gun, he who kills with his gun has forgotten the face of his father. I kill with my heart, and it's a big part of the gunslinger teachings. There's more to it than that that you can look up, but it seems like we might hear the whole thing at some point in the movie, which is a really cool inclusion. It also kind of hints that we might learn more about Roland's gunslinger training. Roland's reload speed is another thing that's referenced in the books as one of his borderline supernatural gifts as a gunslinger, so it's cool to see that included as well, and I'm sure we're going to see more of the uncanny accuracy and the things that go along with that. But going back briefly to the 1919 door, I don't remember a specific door bearing those numbers being part of the series, but it's fairly obvious that it's supposed to be one of the doorways between worlds, so if you guys have any guesses as to which one of those doorways it's supposed to be, drop me a line down below. Stephen King fans, though, will definitely recognize the number 19 and that's significance. It comes up in a ton of his books, but especially in the Dark Tower series, it kind of has uh, a whole new significance and meaning and it, come to, it comes up a lot. But So that could just be a nice little Easter egg or it could be something much more important. At this time, we just don't know. It's a 15 second teaser. But either way, both of these teasers have me incredibly excited for the first trailer tomorrow. And honestly, just from this little glimpse, I love the way the movie is shot. And that action sequence with Roland, hopefully it's just a little taste of the gunsling and we'll be getting in the movie. Let me know what you thought and which of these teasers was your favorite, but that's going to do it for me here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like if you like what you saw. Subscribe for more great content every single day and consider turning on your notifications to be alerted every time we upload a new video. Signing off, this is CJ and I'll see you next time.